Good afternoon, y'all. It's Ned. And this is Michelle. And collectively, we are MyPhilippineDreams.com. Um, one of the most common questions we get um, is about cell phones. Yes. Cell phones. Cell phones are very popular in the Philippines. Talking about popularity. Yes. <laughs> um, I think it's over 2 billion texts are sent out every day in the Philippines. And when you consider the population, which isn't that big, um, that's quite a lot of text. And you'll see people texting all the time. There's not a lot of phone calls made um, because of the costs, but texting is pretty cheap. Um, the most common question we get is, Ned and Michelle, can I bring my cell phone over from the United States or from Australia or from the UK? The answer is a resounding yes. There are some requirements though. First up, um, you have to be able to put a SIM card in your phone. If you're from the US and, uh, and you have a Verizon phone and it doesn't have a SIM card, uh, you're not going to be able to use it here. Um, it also needs to be unlocked. Yes. Or as they call it here, what do they call unlocked here? Open line. Open line, <laughs> yes, open line. <laughs> they always change things around. Um, so it's got, to have a, it's got to have the provision to put a SIM card in it. It's got to be unlocked by your carrier. Um, if you're unsure, you can like contact AT&T or Verizon or any of the other providers and ask them if your phone is unlocked. Um, if you have an iPhone, you can actually check by doing a restore on it and it'll show whether the iPhone is unlocked or not. Um, the final requirement is it has to be on certain bands. I think it's got to be 900 and 1800 megahertz. Um, if you're not sure, you can go to our website and there's a link there to check if your carrier or your phone, your bandwidth is compatible with the system in the Philippines. Um, we also get asked a lot, so that's if you want to bring your phone. Um, we also get asked a lot about what? Phones here in the Philippines. Phones you can buy? Yes. Locally sourced or locally assembled phones of which there are a number of manufacturers. Mm -hmm. There's Cherry Mobile, there's my phone. I have my phone. You have my, I mean, Cherry Mobile. Cherry Mobile Flare, yes. Um, and there's SKK and there's Star Mobile. There's a bunch. Um, a lot, of the, a lot of the components are made in China and some of them are assembled in the Philippines. Um, I've had good experiences so far. We had one bad experience with the screen, but it was under warranty. Um, and they're fairly inexpensive. They're about $100 to $200 um, for a decent Android phone, a smartphone. Um, and the build quality has been getting progressively better in just the past year. I mean, when you look at Michelle's flare, which the build quality is kind of sketchy. Yes. That was originally my phone. And then you compare it to the new my phones, you can see, you know, how far they've come. And they got carbon fiber bodies. They have, you know, uh, SIM slots now instead of cracking open the back. Uh, the cameras are a lot better. And it's just a better phone. When you're looking at the phone, you just want to check to make sure it's got a decent camera. You know, take some test photos. Because when you're here, you're going to be taking photos. So you want to have something to take decent photos with. Photos and selfies. Photos and selfies, yeah, so it's got to have a good front-facing camera for selfies. Um, you want to check the warranty. A lot of them have local warranties. If it breaks, you return it and, you know, they go through a process of repairing it. Cherry Mobile can take up to three months to fix it for you. So, <laughs> you got to watch out for that. Um, but overall, they're good cameras. They're inexpensive. I mean, they're good phones. They're inexpensive phones and they work quite well. Um, then we get into phone plans. Basically, we have um, Smart, yes. Globe, Sun Cellular, Sun Cellular, mm -hmm. and TM, which I think is a subsidiary of Globe. Sun, of Globe. Um, so you have these different phone providers. These are like AT and T, Verizon. Um, there's prepaid and postpaid plans. Basically, I think just about the vast majority of people here are on prepaid. That's just you buy load, you load up your phone, and you're not locked into a contract. Um, with the postpaid, it's postpaid is more of a Western type model where you pay a monthly contract and all that stuff, and you're kind of locked in. Um, we we use the Smart Mega 250 plan. Um, which for 250 pesos gives you unlimited texting to all networks for a month, which is... Plus um, 180 free calls, smart to smart, and then 100 MB, 100 MB uh, free for a month. 
Yep, so you get 100 megabytes of da data, yeah. and you also get 180 minutes uh, free smart to smart if you want to make phone calls. Not too many people make phone calls though. The only person I get phone calls from is Michelle. Where are you? <laughs> um, and if you want to make international calls, you can get another SIM card from Sun. They have the Sun International Plan. And if you just want to call back to the United States, UK, or Australia, and it costs about two pesos per minute to call. Um, and, and from what I've heard, the reliability is pretty good. So you have, you've brought your phone or you purchased a phone when you get here. Now you've got to set it up. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to buy a SIM card. Mm -hmm. And SIM cards have cost how much? You know, 40 pesos. About a buck. They cost about a dollar. So say you get you want smart, so you get a smart SIM card, um, and it comes on a punch-out card. And what you do is you take the SIM out of the punch-out card, you put it in your phone. Now you got to keep the punch-out card because if you lose your phone or it gets stolen, you've lost your number. Um, they can't you know give you your number back. But if you have the punch-out card and you can prove to smart, they can. If you get another phone, they can transfer that number to another SIM, so you save your your uh, your number. So you get the SIM, you put it in your phone, and then it should say Smart or Globe. Um, it should connect, and then you got to put Load on it. And there's two ways you can get Load. You can buy cards. Yes. Or just it? go to a store and tell them you need Load. Yeah. Say so, hey, you got you got Smart Load, you got Globe Load. Um, when you buy a card, you just follow the directions on the card. Um, you dial a certain number and you punch it in, and next thing you know, you got 500 pesos on your phone. Um, it's loading up your phone. If you go to a store, they ask what your phone number is, you give them your phone number, you give them the money, and they transfer it directly over the network to your phone, and you'll get a text message and all that stuff saying it's active. Um, so, oh, and before you do that, the first thing you do when you get here with your phone is make sure you turn off your data, your cellular data. Because if you get, <laughs> like me, when I first got here, I got 500 pesos of load and it was gone in like three days. I was it was like, gone. gone, yeah. I remember we were, I was in Mindanao, I was, he just suddenly stopped texting me back. I was like, what happened? Oh, I have no just, load. I got yes. 500 pesos in two days. So make sure you turn off your cellular because if your cellular is going, it's just going to suck your phone dry within a couple of days. Um, so now you got your SIM card in, you got some load on your phone, and you're ready to start texting like mad. And I, I was a guy, I didn't like texting. When I, back in the US, I never text, I'm like, just call me. Um, but here, everybody texts. The only phone calls you're gonna get are from your sweet, adorable Ouya and the police. Okay. Because I like to call. Yes. Asaka. Um, I write a call. Um, and also, there's so much Wi-Fi around that you can use Wi-Fi data, so you don't really need cellular data. Um, okay, so you got. Also, you need to memorize your phone number. The Philippines has long numbers. It's something like zero nine one eight one two three four five six seven. There's a bunch of numbers. You don't have to memorize the six three. I memorized a six three, and I was telling everybody my number is six three zero nine one eight <laughs> one two three. Yeah. So um, memorize your number. Keep the punch out card to your SIM. Also, you can make sure you back up your contact somewhere. If you're on uh, iPhone, you can back it up to the iCloud or whatever they call it. Or if you're on Android, you back it up to Google. And that way, again, if you lose your phone or if it gets stolen, you'll, have, you'll be able to back up all your contacts. You won't or lose your contacts. Or if you want to buy a new phone, Transfer yes. the contacts. That's what I did. And transfer the contacts. Exactly. Because I lost my phone. I left it out at the gym and somebody snatched it and I lost all my contacts. And my number because I didn't keep the punch out card. So learn by my mistakes, please. Um, turn off data. Use text. Again, over 2 billion texts are sent a day every day in the Philippines. Um, okay, so you got your, your phone. Now, one thing to keep in mind, a lot of, lo a lot of locals use uh, the old school Nokia's. They do not have, a lot of people don't have smartphones. A lot of foreigners even have Nokias. They can text with one hand, not looking like it's nobody's business. You'll even see people on scooters, riding their scooters and texting and checking their texts and all that time at the same time. Um, 
So you have a choice. You get the old school Nokia's where you can text with one hand. I never figured out how to do that, or you can get the. I know how to do it. I used to do it at school. Yeah, I saw your phone when you arrived. <laughs> all the numbers you couldn't even see the letters of the numbers. It was all rubbed off. But I'm, I, I memorized it. I got I got the good of looking at the screen. Yeah. Okay. So now you have your phone all set up. You got load. You're texting. You want to put some apps on there. Um, some of the good apps to have for communication, Google Hangouts. With Google Hangouts, you can use your Google Voice number and you can call back to the United States or call internationally for about a penny a minute. Viber is VOIP. The other person has to have Viber on their phone, but you can call them as long as you have Wi-Fi connection. Same thing with Skype. Um, Skype's are great for video or for phone calls. You also want to get like an offline navigation um, because you're going to get lost a lot. Uh, if you use Google Maps, it's not going to work that well unless you have your data on, and a lot of us, you know, aren't using data. So it's good to have an offline navigation, such as NavDroid, which I have on my phone and works really well, or Cities to Go, and you can actually download the um, Philippines map for both those apps. You also want to have a game on here, a couple games. I have Spades. Because when you get stuck in queue, when you get stuck in line, you're at the bank, you're at the market, or you're just waiting at BOI for hours, um, you're going to want something to do to pass the time. I have Sudoku online. You got what? Sudoku. She's got Sudoku. And Candy Crush? No more Candy Crush. No more Candy Crush. I have a Candy Crush. That's old school. Yes. <laughs> and finally, the last app you should have is... Facebook! Yes, you got to have Facebook because when you're taking all these selfies, um, you have to have somewhere to post them. <laughs> if you don't have Facebook on your phone and you're not constantly taking pictures of your food or taking pictures of yourself and posting it on Facebook, you're not really in the Philippines. And Instagram. And Instagram. Good for, uh, good, uh, good not for, uh, social network to post your selfie. Selfies and photos of turtles and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. So I hope that helped. Um, if you want more information, go to our website because I did a whole long article on it. It's like 2,000 words. It's got some good links to some external resources and stuff. It's not that difficult. What I did, I didn't understand the process at all. And it's very confusing when you're looking at all the different plans. So I, I literally handed my phone to the store clerk and I said, can you put this SIM in, load, and help me? And uh, she was very gracious and she did that for me. Thank you forgotten clerk store in Manila. Um, so that's about it. Again, I hope we helped. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the uh, comments section. Check out our website. And until next time. This is Michelle. And this is Ned. And collectively we are My, my Philippine, Philippine Dreams. Dreams. Text me. Holla. <laughs>